Hey guys, I'm Jens from Wohnkabinen Center in Germany. Our company is the leading truck camper dealer in Europe and we do the business since 15 years. We are dedicated to truck campers. We love that business. And we did rentals for quite a couple of years. And in the rental business, we felt that the most time consuming thing in the rental was to detach and attach the jacks. So we had uh, many campers with the Rico Titan jacks which are bolted to the camper with three screws. So we had to unbolt them and demount them. Uh, why we are demounting them? The Germans, the Germans like to detach the jacks for travel reasons, because you can, you can hang with them on a rock or on a tree or something. So for that, we demount them before traveling. And as the Germans like to quite over-engineer everything, we thought how we can make the detaching and attaching of the jack legs easier. And now I will show you the famous D-Jacker system. Since 2008, we are the European distributor for four-wheel campers from beautiful California. And four-wheel campers, they're equipped with Rico Titan jack legs. And here you see the typical jack attachment. You have the aluminum jack bracket here and the jack itself is bolted with two screws to the jack bracket. You need to detach it, you need tools, and we wanted also to have it tool free so that you really quick release the jack. This is a 2011 built four wheel camper and we installed 2016, one of the first D-Jackers here. And you see, it's fully made from stainless steel, so it looks very, very nice. And you could see we have two inch extension so that you have uh, two inch more between your legs to drive in when you back up with your truck. Now we are coming to the point how the D-Jacker works. To take off your jack, pull off the safety pin, press out the single bolt and slide down your jack leg. So that's all this, what you have to do. And when you're coming back from a camping trip on the weekend, back up into your garage, take your jack leg, push it in, push the bolt in, safety pin in, and you are ready in a very, very short time. This is the box in which the DJK system arrives at your home. And I will show you, we will open it now. Classic unboxing video. We took care that you will have everything inside what you need for a quick install. The DJK system is easy to install on every Rico Titan jack bracket. It's an add-on so that you can take even an older camper and use the DJK system on that. First, what you find in the box is the instruction manual or installation manual, which is in English and by German. So, and here you see everything what you need for your DJK installation. Even since we use metric screws, we have a metric drill for you, and now I will show you how it's the installation process. We are now in our workshop, and here you see a Camp Crown Overlander. It's not real wood, it's foil wrapped aluminum. And on this one, we will have the installation done on this leg. And in the box, you have four parts of the D-Jacker system. One, two, three, four. Later, I will show you which one is for what. And we have one bag with screws, nuts, and here we have one bag with bolts and safety pins. And here we have one more bag with small nut covers. The nut covers will have later a nice and clean look when everything is installed. And here I've prepared everything what we need for the installation on this one point. We need as tools this battery drill. We have a socket wrench with a 17 millimeter socket because we use 10 millimeter screws with a 17 millimeter head. We have a 17 millimeter wrench and we have a small wrench with a six millimeter Allen key to tighten the screws of the D-Jacker system. First step is to detach the Rico Titan jacks. So I take the wrench 
loose the screws. And that's now the first point to see the time which is taking to take away the legs. It's, we, have, uh, we have long screws here, which is very interesting with American campers. We often get the self-tightening screws and nuts. So with American campers first, I have used the screws and nuts which were delivered with the legs and after second time it was nearly impossible to open them so we had to cut them off. This is the difference I think between Americans and Germans that in America on many truck campers I've seen people traveling and having their legs still attached. This is something for safety reasons here in Germany we don't do this. It's first thing we could damage our camper if we hang on something but on the other hand it's also dangerous when it's sticking out and you hit someone on the road or bike bicycle driver a rider or someone so for that we detach it so first step is done such kind of draw you will find i think in almost every workshop all over the world and uh, here i found one of these bolts and nuts which were originally delivered with the jack legs and we recognize them with a small square as a self-locking nut it's not self-tightening and it took a time to find it out because here in germany a plastic ring on the top of the nut indicates that it's self-locking and these type of nut and screw after a second time opening and closing again was nearly impossible. So, okay, now to the next step. Step one to detach the jacks is completed. Now we go to step two. This is mount the hook plate. Um, by, German, by German it's called Hakenleiste. This hook, it's the German word Haken, this hook will later slide into a pocket so that's the pocket plate or by German it's Taschenleiste, pocket is Tasche and you see here with a very high precision it slides into the pocket. The hook slides in and it locks itself so the weight of the camper is hanging on the hook and that it could not slide out we have the safety bolt installed here. So first step is we'll take one of the screws push it through, take a spring washer, take the nut and pre-tighten it. We use only stainless steel parts in that set, so even in the harshest conditions, snow, salt, rain, life near the sea, it won't rust and stay nice and clean for a very, very long time. Now the three screws are set. We tighten them, start with the upper screw, then the lower, and last one in the middle. Now we've completed step two. Step three is to assemble the jack bracket, which is a three piece part. We have the pocket plate, then we have a small spacer, which creates a small gap that the hook piece easily can slide in. You have the top plate, which is signed with the D-Jacker logo, and there's, there's a small sign wears top up and I put this together the first screw I got here push it in now I take a second and third screw one two three Ok, 
Okay. On the rear side, again, the spring washer. Spring washer and nut. Spring washer and nut. With this piece, it's important when we tighten the screws to tighten them not too hard to leave enough space in the pocket so that the hook plate could easily slide in. So we make a test. Yes, the right amount of space slides easily in, not shaking too much. Perfect. The three caps. We push now onto the screw. This we left in step two on this side here. Also on the jack leg. We install the caps. And now step three is completed. Step four is to install the jack. I crank it, I crank it down now so that we have a little pressure on it that it stays in position because the next step five will be to drill the hole for the safety bolt. Step five is to install the safety bolt. For the safety bolt, we use the battery drill. Safety first, I change my glasses so that we will be all safe here. You use the drill which was delivered with the d system. And now it's important to drill straight through that. Okay, the hole is drilled. Now a little cleaning. And I will change my glasses. Then I better find the hole. Now I take the safety bolt, push it in. Safety pin. And the D-Jacker is installed. Now you have seen how easy it's to upgrade your camper with the D-Jacker system. If you want to save some lifetime and you want to have your own D-Jacker system, you can order it on www.djacker.com. You see the link below here. And if you want to learn more about European truck campers, subscribe our channel. And if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Jens.